From the newest anime to come from the team that brought us ReZero, to a closer look at not just next season's Isekai, but even the summer seasons too. I'm your host, Anime Sam, and this is Any News. As usual, let's start off with the latest anime previews from the past couple of weeks. I'm sure you're already well aware of the newest upcoming Shonen Jump anime, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. A historical action shonen about a young boy who struggles to protect his last remaining family member turned demon from the very monsters that took everything else away from him. Ufotable must be pretty confident with what they've created here because it turns out they've decided to compile the first five episodes together and do a theatrical release with it a week before the anime even airs. Now, I'm not sure whether five episode screenings are a frequent occurrence in Japan or not. But just the fact that they're willing to push what's likely the entire first arc as a movie makes me even more optimistic towards this as a series. Regardless, we'll all find out how good it is soon enough once it airs on April 6th. Also coming in April is the newest adaptation to the 1998 manga and 2001 anime Fruits Basket, of which we recently got a second trailer for. I've heard a lot of good things from a lot of different people about this series, so I'm sure it'll turn out to be one of the better slice of life anime from the next season. Not to mention that the same studio behind other great series like Real Life, Orange, and Megalobox are also bringing us this new adaptation. So uh, definitely keep an eye on it. Speaking of upcoming quality anime, Studio Bones surprised me when they showcased their trailer for an original sci-fi drama called Carol and Tuesday. Initially, I honestly thought that this trailer was for a movie, given how great that the animation looked. But turns out, it's actually a seasonal. At first glance, you may be wondering how this is a sci-fi, but contrary to how it initially looks, it actually takes place in a futuristic society that has colonized Mars and turned it into a metropolis. The story follows two girls who randomly cross paths, and it follows their relationship and career as it develops through their shared love for music, which you can clearly tell is going to be a huge theme throughout the series. Just listen to the vocals of the background song, it sounds absolutely amazing. Now let's take a look at the isekai that will be gracing our eyes next season, Kenja no Mago, or in English, The Philosopher's Grandson. And yes, it is based off a light novel just like every other isekai. And yes, though it isn't Truck-kun, the main character is struck by a vehicle and reincarnated in a new world as a baby. Not only that, but he's the baby of an extremely powerful sage named Merlin. As you'd expect, this sage teaches him everything and the boy grows up to be super OP. So now we have our typical super OP protagonist. But what makes this anime different is that the boy wasn't taught any common sense. So that makes it a comedy, I guess. I can't say I'm expecting much from this series, but I'll probably end up watching it anyway, like I do with every other fantasy anime I come across. As for a release date, you can expect it to premiere on April 10th. You know what does look good though? A newly announced original fantasy anime called Grandbound. And I'm not just saying that because it's by the same team that brought us ReZero, and one of the main characters looks like Amelia, but yeah. I'm also not even going to bother asking why they didn't just make ReZero Season 2, because I'm sure they're already well aware that bands have been asking for its return since it ended, right? Anyway, this might be good to pass the time while we wait for that to come anyway. As for this series, there's really not too much to go off of. All I'm aware of plot-wise is that it's been a thousand years since magic disappeared from the world. And then one day, a high school student comes across a strange girl and a magical doll. So feel free to read into that however much you want, but I don't think we'll know much more until we get closer to its release date at the beginning of the summer. But Sam, that doesn't sound like an isekai. Yeah, you're right. In the summer, we're getting a different one called Maosama Retry. Yep, another I just got reincarnated as a demon lord in this video game type fantasy world anime. You see, this time, our main character just happened to be playing as a demon lord in a game that he manages when he suddenly, and not so surprisingly, transported to a new world. His harem then begins shortly after, and you can probably guess how people who see him as this demon lord would react. But who knows, it could be interesting. In other previews, we got one for the upcoming ecchi comedy called Nande Koko ni Sensei Ga, which I shit you not, based on the synopsis, it's actually the non-hentai version of Menkitsu happening, and if you don't know what that is, then I guess you just need to expose yourself to some more culture. Then we got one for the summer anime adaptation of the manga Are You Lost? 
This being an adventure comedy of four girls who survive a plane crash and end up stranded on a desert island. From what I could tell, it's pretty much just them trying to figure out a way to get off the island while trying to stay alive. Next up is a preview for the upcoming two season sci-fi drama by Studio Feel called Yuno, a girl who chants love at the bound of this world. I'm gonna be honest here, from the trailer, it doesn't look very interesting. As for what you can expect, it's something along the lines of boy's father goes missing, boy receives mysterious package from missing father, package contains device capable of interdimensional travel, and I think that's about all that you need to know. The mobile RPG game Princess Connect was revealed to be getting an anime adaptation by Cygames Pictures, this being their third anime release together as a studio. I can't say I've played the game, so I don't think I can really give any context on what to expect. But if it's meant to serve as a big advertisement for it, like most mobile game adaptations usually are, I'd hope it'd be at least of decent quality. As for a release date, there still hasn't been any info released. Now to wrap up the previews, I have two more teasers that were released for some upcoming anime movies. First, we got one for The Legend of the Galactic Heroes, the new thesis, Stellar War Part 1, serving as a direct sequel to the new thesis TV series that aired last April, and it'll once again be done by Production IG. And the second was a short teaser for the Studio 4C movie called Children of the Sea. Adapting the manga of the same name, it's a supernatural mystery series, revolving around a world that's currently experiencing a strange phenomenon with its oceans. It seems to be very abstract, not only in the way that it's animated, but also with the way that the story is described. I'm not sure if this movie will be making its way outside of Japan for a local release, but maybe as we get closer to the release date of June 7th, we'll get a bit more info. Shifting to the newest anime announcements and reveals now, Kobayashi no Dragon Maid and Radiant were recently revealed to be getting second seasons. A recent article featured a tease for an upcoming important announcement for Orligaru, which I'm personally praying to be a third season, but we won't know for sure until that announcement comes out. Speaking of which, the third season to Madhouse's Chihaya Furu got delayed to the fall season starting in October. One Punch Man Season 2 was teased with some new visuals, and Gintama was revealed to be getting yet another new anime. Attack on Titan's second part of the third season was revealed to only be having 10 episodes, and starting on April 28th. Don Machi Season 2 was also announced to start airing this summer. As for some new anime adaptations, we have a collab between X-Flag and Tatsunoko Productions to bring us a two-part film called Pandora to Akubi. An original anime called Robihachi was revealed for the spring. Netflix and Production IG teased a new fall anime that will not only be hand-drawn, but also be in 4K resolution, so I'm very excited to see how this one in particular turns out. The mangas Gleipnir and Koisuryu Asteroid are both getting anime adaptations. And finally, we got some new visuals for Fate Grand Order Babylonia featuring Merlin, Anna, and Ishtar. Then a new visual for the upcoming anime Journal of the Mysterious Creatures. And that's pretty much all the news that I got for you guys today. Be sure to let me know what you're looking forward to the most in the comments below. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this type of anime news content, then you already know what to do. So, until next time, ciao!